Right, what was I saying? Oh. Was that Strone Estate? Strone Estate. Strone, Strone Estate. <laughs> right, folks, I can't see the camera. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Yeah. Because I'm shining this bright head torch in. It's chucking it down with rain. A quick synopsis of what we're going to do. So, middle of winter, seven o'clock. Pissing it down. Pissing it down. And we're going to go and stay in a haunted old cottage of Bothy, as they're called uh -huh. in Scotland. Because, uh -huh. um, yeah, Jerry wants me to get scared out of my wits. <laughs> no. So, we're, we're going in, we're on Strone Estate, and I'm not scared of the haunted Bothy. I'm scared of the bull that lives in here that we had a close encounter with the last time we was here. So past his gate, apparently. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so I'm scared of both. I don't want any ghosts or any bulls. So uh, we'll probably report back we're in the Bothy because the camera's getting soaked um, in the, this rain. So I think it's about an hour in. Uh, it's quite a bit. So there is ghosts or bulls. We're quite a long way to run back to the, <laughs> back to the car. So <laughs> shall we go through? I think it's uh, this way. Let me I get think this. We have to. I think we're going <laughs> to have to. Have to face facts. <laughs> right, guys. We'll report back in a wee while. Oh, right. Right. You okay to shift the Yeah, well, I'll do that. The gate is shut. Let's go. Woo! Oh! What I forgot to say is before we get to the Bothy, there's a burn stroke river that we need to cross. Stroke raging before it. <laughs> yeah! And uh, it was raining pretty heavily this morning, so we're kind of hoping that is an inspate because that could be a showstopper. Could be an out and back. Aye. Uh, <laughs> Might see us back in the car in the next uh, next clip. So yeah, we'll report back when we get to the uh, obstacle number one. <laughs> so here we are, arrived at the raging torrent. Ah, looks quite benign. Hey, that's me, Jerry. <laughs> It's impressive, doesn't it? Well, I think we've got it to ourselves, Jerry. Hope so, hope so. Good. Doesn't look like there's anybody in. Oh, -ho. here we are. We have arrived. Everybody in. Nice. Uh huh. Just. Oh, right. Well, we get set up and uh, we'll report back once we've got our. Let's, set let's settle in. Settle in, yeah. Okay, excellent. Cool. I don't even know if we need the, uh, the heating on. <laughs> it's roasting. Ah, I think we need a fire on. Yeah, no heating on. Oh, yes. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you? I'm loading up my luxury mattress. I've got my winter gear, my big thick mat, and my winter sleeping bag, and I've got my silk liner. But you know what, I don't think we actually need it. As I said, it's not that cold. Uh, the wee gizmo is quite useful as well. <laughs> anyway, right, go and get some water, get this fire on it. So there is a, a kind of stove here, and we, Jerry's got some peat logs. And we'll try to get the, the fire going now. I think I'm going to go down, down to the river and get some water. And then hopefully by the time we've come back up, the fire should be a roaring. And uh, aye, we'll see. Nice though. 
It's nice to get the fire it's going. Gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? It's lovely. Mm. But we're here now, aren't we? We're definitely here. And it's really nice. It's nice. It's in, and uh, we don't want to seem that we're antisocial, but I'm rather delighted that we've got it to ourselves again. I think um, it can be quite a busy yeah, both, can't it? It's not too far. There's still time. We're, mm -hmm. we're still there. I mean, it's about eight o'clock, so there's still time for people to come. But um, it, it's, it's cosy. I've only been to three bothies. The first was with really? yourself yeah. when we went to Sewell's. And is it Sewell's? Mm -hmm. leg bothie? Sewell's leg bothie, yeah. Um, yeah. And then the other one was with the enforcement on, on the, the Highland Way. And I must say, out of the three that I've been to, it's only three. This feels the cosiest because it's a bit smaller. I think this is most recently done up. Um, right. I mean, I think this is a fairly standard size of Bothy. I mean, yeah. um, for those that don't know, Bothy's is a network of um, really old houses and shelters throughout Scotland. And um, there's an organisation called the Mountain Bothy's Association. Well, it used to be like a secretive thing, didn't it? When I was starting, mm. well, maybe it was just me. Well, maybe nobody really. told me. Yeah. Um, I was a member of Mountain Bothies Association probably when you were at school, to be honest. Don't you did go to school, didn't you? I wasn't born. I wasn't born. Yeah. Yeah. You did, you, you <laughs> no, didn't go to school, no. no. Well, no. yeah, you would, you, yeah. yeah I, I tell people that I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, years ago I was a, a member of Mountain Bothies Association. and oh, So um, you were in the room? And yes, uh, the, there's a network. And the idea is that they're, they're open access. Um, some are fairly remote. And some are not that far from civilization. I think this would probably come into the, the latter category. Uh, yeah, category. I mean, we're, we're probably about, we're not anywhere near any towns, but the, the closest road where we left the car is probably the road then, yeah, four kilometres, an hour, yeah. an hour away. So again, although I did, we're not, I mean, as I said, this feels, this, there's, there's no ghostly feelings in this bothy for sure. But if there is, we're, we're still going to be running for about an hour to get, a, you know, yeah. to get back to the car. Or I think if we scream loud enough, somebody will hear us. Uh, scream if you want to go faster. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's and, and the name of the bothy is Abyssinia. Isn't Abyssinia, it? which is a, a, a curious name, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to tell the viewers what well, it's called? Someone will correct me on this, but my understanding of it that this was lived in at one point, and and I think the the shepherd uh, that lived in it had been. Sent to Abyssinia in the army, had been in the Which Abyssinia. was the old name for Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah. I've been to Ethiopia. Have you been to Ethiopia? No, no, no. I've only passed through it. Anyway, um, <laughs> a, bit, a bit like my good self, this guy who'd been sent to Abyssinia in the, in the military, I think, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I think it was mid to late 1800s, uh, there was a, a, a mad ruler of Abyssinia uh, kidnapped some. Uh, British subjects, oh, okay. and uh, despite them trying to bribe him to give him back, he decided not to. So they, they sent a, an expeditionary force to uh, give him a scene. To um, anyway, the story is that this shepherd talked about his time in Abyssinia so much that the, the local called his house Abyssinia. <laughs> Apparently, every time he met somebody, he said, "I thought I told you about Abyssinia." Big <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I told yeah. you the time I went to Tupkal. Uh -huh. <laughs> that time I was in the High Atlas Mountains. <laughs> yeah. There's a video so, on that, by the way. I'll put yeah. a link in the description. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good trip. But anyway, I think that's that, that's what the story I heard. Um, and anyway, come back to Bothy's. The, the Mountain Bothy Association did this one up fairly recently and they've done it fantastically well. Yeah, thank you very um, much. Whoever's in charge of this one. This and, and, and the code is, the Bothy code is you don't leave yeah. it tidy, you don't burn any fresh wood, do you tidy out the fire, you, if, if you've got non-perishable food that's surplus you can leave yeah. that but don't leave anything else. We, we've brought in today the peat, the kind of peat burning, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what you call them. The fire logs. Fire, so. fire logs, that's it. Um, so we've got four of them, um, I've got a wee bit of whiskey but I'll talk about that. We'll come back to you, I'll tell you the story about the ghost um, the next time. Well, I'm going to put my fingers on my ears when you do that. He's scared, he's scared. Yeah, it doesn't feel, it feels very friendly, I must admit. It's, it's nice to be both. So. Friendly ghost, Casper. Casper the ghost. <laughs> so we've done our admin, we've got our water, we've got the fire going, so we're going to chill, we're going to have a whiskey, so we'll bring you back in a wee while yeah. and uh, tell you about the, the ghost. You have, you, have, you, have, you have your whiskey and the stories will get even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'll try not sit in your knee now, I'll go back to the uh, position. Do that, there we go. Do yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit of heat coming off it now, isn't there? Good stuff. Right, folks, hopefully you can see us. We're, um, 
It's been a good night, isn't it? We've yeah. been it's pleasant, very pleasant. Put, putting the worlds to right in front of the fire. So there's something <laughs> really, it's something about a fire, isn't it? It's just mesmerising. Mesmerising. So yeah, we don't often come with the bothies. I think in all the steaming boots years, you and I have gone to Sullivan and then um, I think I mentioned earlier on Dune Buyer. Um, this has been fine. We've, we've got the place to ourselves and. I think it's time for a ghost story. I think I think I should I should tell the viewers about the <laughs> the ghost story. Um, do and what I'll do is I'll read an extract that I got off the web about Abyssinia Bothy, and this is apparently the story. And then you can tell me what you think, Jerry. Okay. So it says here, Abyssinia is an old ruined house about two miles up King Glass Glen from Butterbridge to Loch Sloy. Abyssinia is supposed to be haunted. Some time ago, there was a family, the Johnson family, who stayed at Butterbridge. When they were children, the house at Abyssinia was used for storing hay and animal feeds. When at Abyssinia, the Johnston children used to play in the loft and they would often hear an old lady calling on her hens. The children thought nothing of this, as they were quite used to the strange voice. However, one morning back at Butterbridge, early in the morning, there was a terrible mm. hammering mm. at the door. <gasps> it was on one... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help myself. That was C- CGI, it was always... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was a one-legged tramp. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's better, that's better. It was, a one, it was a one-legged tramp who was in a terrible state that's because he was a tramp. Yes, uh, quite right. He hadn't been down to Slater's to, to get the latest <laughs> suit. Anyway, we digress. One legged trousers. <laughs> it appeared that the tramp had tried to spend a night at Abyssinia Cottage. A bit like ourselves. A bit like ourselves. But the old lady kept disturbing his sleep. So in the end, he hopped all the way down to Butterbridge. I just wonder, like, we're about, we've been talking about how remote this is, and a one-legged tramp got here, and they managed to sort of s- to sprint down to Butterbridge to get some help. So. Yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, there's also another article which um, hopefully will stick up on the screen now, which was in another um, yeah, journal, an, an August journal, the Fortean Times, which mentioned the haunted bothies in, in Abyssinia. Uh, got a mention in that. So, yeah. I mean, the night is young, and I don't want to wind myself up too much. <laughs> I, I, I actually feel the opposite. I, I feel, you know, you get a feeling about a place. I feel quite warm and cosy, cosy yeah, and it's good. Yeah, maybe different yeah. when the fire goes out and the lights go out. Yeah, and yeah. the ghosts come out to play or the mice come out to play. That Aye, was, well, that's, 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 that's nice. more likely the thing. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's um, that's our night in Abyssinia. It's been great fun. Um, we've, we've had the, the fire going most of the night, we candle going, we've had a few a few whiskeys, some crisps. And well, that was the only spirit in Abyssinia was your whiskey. My Glenlivet, which you yeah. gave me for my Christmas, thank oh, you very really? much. Right. So, yeah, it's very nice, Glenlivet, my favourite. And uh, yeah, so here we are in a bothy. It's, uh, it was 8 degrees when we left the car, uh, but it's been pretty wild out there. The rain was fairly hammering down. Yeah. Very. Yep, we're going to be playing havoc with the, the hens. The old, the old woman. <laughs> the old lady, eh? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. see, so, see if we survive the night. <laughs> we'll report back in the morning and hopefully have no ghostly interludes. Want <laughs> 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 oh, to go home? <laughs>
I can't remember what time sunrise is that, is it about half seven or something? Eight o'clock ish? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think my righty. Ah. Coffee time, eh? <laughs> I think yeah. it's actually warmer outside than it was inside the boat. Aye, aye. <laughs> Quite a mild morning again, I'm afraid. It's very mild, yeah. So we're, uh, what time are we now? About 7.30, 7, 7.30? Uh, no, I think it must be uh, just, no, I don't know, but I think it's a wee bit earlier than that. It's, it's not far from, we're, we're dawn, we're getting Five a wee bit Five minutes away. past seven. Five past seven. And we can see what's quite nice is the hills, um, to the north of us are yeah. clear. Um, the ones behind us have still got a bit of cloud, but behind us are the Arica Alps, hills like you know, Ben Eam and Ben Vane yeah, and so, Ben Louvain. Yeah. And, yeah, just up behind us uh, is Loch Sloy up in the hills up there. Um, but there's a lot of new forestry kind of impeding access to that bit of the hill. But it's not raining. Hooray. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but I chucked it down um, well, all the way in and uh, all last night, every time we looked outside, it was a pretty wild night. So it's quite nice, it's quite calm, there's no, not much wind this morning. And we never saw, well, I, uh, Jerry thought he heard some ghostly noises last I heard, night. From they definitely him. heard some weird noises. It sounded like a ghost sawing logs or, or maybe a ghost with a a creaky dro uh, door, you know, going to that. <gasps> it's funny because I, oh. I, I, I... It seemed to be coming from down where you were and you never what? heard I, it. I never heard it. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's either something supernatural or there's, a, there's mice in here which yeah. I, th I think they may be snore, I don't know. But I could see how murder could occur in a strange remote yeah. body. Well, it, yeah, as I said, I never heard it, so I don't know what's <laughs> going on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> anyway, we're just enjoying our... Uh, our coffees and we'll um, we'll report back in a wee while. We'll have some breakfast and then we'll we'll clean up as um, yeah as is the bothy code. Yeah, but, get all yeah. the ash out the fire and clear all the place up. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Oh, that's nice. That's a tidy job, Jerry. To get rid of this. Oh. That's all clean. Right. Oh, right. We have just about. I'm still packing up, Jerry's. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm the one that's still uh, packing up. Um, <laughs> even though I was up first. Steamy boot is fanning about there, <laughs> Fanning about. So, without, what we realise is we haven't done a tour of the Bothy, so yeah. we'll start off with the, the, the wildlife, well, the wildlife, the the flora, the fauna, fauna, the flora, flora, yeah. flora, flora is. The, the the beautiful tree, and you reckon that's a I think it's a round, a round um, tree, and that does have, I'm a sure, very old round. Yeah, it's got. I'm sure they planted rounds to keep spirits at bay, yep, and exactly. witches away. So and witches and that's maybe away. why. That's maybe why it feels so safe in there. Certainly no ghosties, but yeah, beautiful old tree. Look at that. It makes it look a bit spooky. But anyway, shall we take you inside? And in terms of fauna, we've seen the square root of stuff all. Yeah, hee haw. Um, <laughs> Mind you, it was dark and it was peeing it down with rain, so maybe people saw us, or maybe the ghosts saw us, or yeah. the deer saw us, but no, no coos. There's some high altitude sheep up on the hill there, but that's right. We'll definitely see them. Right, do you want to do a wee tour of the bothy, Jerry? Yeah, I'll you go follow then, you in. So. <coughs> right. Oh, we get the, the plaque. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah. That is the plaque. Beautiful, right. So, then we go into our. This is. Uh, what would you call this? The mezzanine reception. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a, a really nicely done up body. I mean, all this plywood and everything, it's got a real nice feel to it. So, which way are we going first? I'll shine the light into the main room and you can. Right, so, into the, uh, yeah. the main living area. There's a nice sort of picnic bench, a wee view outside, nice window, views of the hills, like so. And a, 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 what we used to call a pulley. Pulley. An Edwardian air is what the posh people call it, a pulley. A pulley. Um, 
and the fire, which is all cleaned out. Yeah, it's under sweeping and, yeah, and follow the both of And a wee bit of wee bit ash there, I'll make you brush up. And, uh, you know, nice metal lined cooking platforms. It's a bit like the winter room in an alpine hut, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Um, That's my gear over there. And there's my wee light still going, still, still going. going. Yeah. Still going. That's my tripods. And there's a few, there's a few books up here. What have we got? Oh. Well, you say there's Spike Milligan. Ah, uh, Spike yeah. Milligan, a favourite of mine. Yeah. Read that last night. Burn Ultimatum, Peter James, James Patterson. Yeah, there's there's hours of entertainment here. Um, yeah. A few notices about the Bothy Code, which is fine. Which, so yeah, lovely. Which some people evidently can't read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bit there. Actually, we're we'll not going into yeah, too much yeah. with this bit. Please don't cut live wood. Now, there's a number of reasons for that. One, live wood doesn't burn very good at all. And two, you're just trashing the environment. There might be some evidence of that round about here, which has annoyed us. Yeah. But anyway, no, less, less of that. Let's continue the tour. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, lovely repointed walls, aren't they? Lovely repointed stone walls. Nice. And continuing the Alpine hut theme, they've got this nice sleeping platforms. Yeah, it's quite a small um, sleeping area, but it's quite, it's, yeah. it's cosy. Matratzen lager. Oh, wait, what, what? The Matratzen lager. What does that mean? It's a communal sleeping area. Strictly speaking, you should have a mattress on it, but hey ho. But, yeah, nice. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, six or seven people in, maybe a bit more to push. Friendship friendly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it, and then back. Back out to that view. It would appear that aluminium structure on the side of the Bothy is actually some sort of tie brace. It's just up there, I don't know if you can see it, it runs right along underneath the guttering. And a lovely roof with, uh, yeah. yeah, well, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I'm not sure let's see the roof, but but yeah, lovely. That's um, Abyssinia. Yeah, so beautiful, yeah. beautiful Bothy. And a um, load of nonsense about it being haunted. Yeah. So uh, it's just actually very. Friendly feeling. Just by us, a very cosy family, Bothy. <laughs> You're only good. So we'll shut up and we're going to head back uh, down now. So we'll report back and we get, if we get back across this burn, because that rain was quite heavy and last if night. The, if the cattle and the bull are not in the field. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and get our stuff ready. I need to get my packing done. <laughs> let's go. Turn it off and put it away. Lovely, it's actually a really pleasant morning, isn't it? Beautiful. Unlike last night. <laughs> yeah, no, this would be nice. Well, farewell to Abyssinia. Yeah. Till the next thing. We are back and we are on Butterbridge. Ta -da! That's quite, where we quite slippy. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. There's a lot of butter, a lot of butter here. Uh -huh. of I can't believe it's not Butterbridge. <laughs> North Park's always been the way, <laughs> the way forward. But, yeah. Anyway, so it's been a great, a great wee trip. And I thought we'd just uh, finish off by by just giving an overview of how it went. No ghosts, slept okay. Um, a really nice, a really nice bothy, wasn't lovely. it? Lovely, lovely bothy. Nice we interlude. Yeah. Yeah, because the weather's been manky, so yeah, we're going to um, get back into the car now and, and head back to civilization and back to normal life. So yeah, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next yeah. adventure. Stay classy Abyssinia. Nah, Butterbridge, surely. Say, oh, maybe Abyssinia. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. stay, stay classy. classy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Woo.